Hi guys, it's Tavi Abraham here. I'm just going to read some of your comments. Someone said, um, Tammy Abraham, inspiration and joy to watch. I will watch you wherever you go. Thank you, that means the world to me. Um, wherever I go, I always pour my heart out. I always want to do my best, so um, I'm glad that you can see that as well. And I'm glad I have fans like you. Charlie Woolley said, best striker in the EFL and Prem. Keep scoring, Tammy. <laughs> I sure wish I was the best striker in the Premier League, but um, see the standards and it's top standards. I'll back myself in the EFL, definitely. I'll try my best to keep scoring. Courtney House, <laughs> the boys got it all. Thank you, Courtney. What a guy to play with. I enjoy playing with you, pal. Thanks for lifting my spirit. Dan Kent, one of the best players I've seen down Ashton Gate. He's a joy to watch. What a talent. Thank you, thank you. From the first day I set foot there, I loved it. I felt like at home. I flew down. I was on pre-season with Chelsea. I trained once, and then the next day I was I was involved in the game, which felt unreal for me. I was. 18 at the time. I scored, but it took the goal away from me because someone else actually <laughs> headed the ball in. Yeah, I give it to them. Thanks for everything. Your hold up play is absolutely class. Thank you. This is something I had to work on because I thought I was stronger and bigger than everyone in the academy days. You know, I felt like I could just do it with ease coming into men's football. This is different. You know, coming against players bigger, stronger than you, you know. So it's about how you use your body, and that's something I've had to work on. Someone said, you always score, how? One thing I always tell people is I score most of my goals inside the box. And even if it's ricochets or second balls or being in the right place at the right time, it's something I think I've worked on in school. We used to play a game called FA. And um, the game was basically, everyone's in the box. There's one ball, but so everyone versus each other. And basically you just had to score. And um, if you score, you are out, the first one's out. And I always used to be the first ones to score because I was always putting myself in the right places in the box. If someone wants to shoot, I would just be there, even if I was on the line, to just knock it in. So that's something I had. I think I practiced in school. Looks too lanky to be a striker. <laughs> in all honesty, I did start centre back. So, you know, I just had to get used to my body and my legs, obviously, and um, understand my style of play. And that's something I learned growing up. I'm happy to be a striker, even though I'm lanky. Handsome boy, that's the spirit. Mr. Fowles. Thank you. Um, that hair, puke, puke emoji. <laughs> Listen, there's been times where I've run out of ideas to what to do with my hair, you know, so I've um, just got to mix it up. You've got to have fun. You've got to experiment, man. I think my next one, I'm going to have to, I want to dye it more blonde. Right now, it's about brown, gingery, goldy kind of colour. I want to go more blonde, I want to go brown. But that's for when the sun comes up. Tammy, what are you doing with your hair? Another one about my hair? You really think it's that bad? But a game against Nottingham Forest where I scored four goals, I had doo-doo plats or braids or whatever you call it. I, I don't know, I just wanted to try something different because I had dreads in my hair, which I had to cut off. So, you know, my hair was just, after my dreads left, it was all straight and I didn't want it straight. I wanted it a bit messy and curly. Because I am a super sister guy. After I scored um, them four goals, I said, listen, I'm, I'm doing this as every time. But the next week I went to change my hairstyle. Then I scored again. Then the next week I changed my hairstyle and I didn't score. And so I said to myself, you know what? Now I'm just gonna, I wanna go back to it. When the four goals back again. Joe Tweedy said, I love at Tammy Abraham's attitude. Thank you. You know, I try to have a positive attitude. Even though sometimes I get frustrated on the pitch and I, I swing my long arms everywhere. It's nice having a nice attitude around people, you know. Treat people how you want to be treated. Someone said, do you think he's worth the hype? Hmm. I am. You know what, everyone has their opinions. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. For me, I just got to keep doing my thing. If people see it, they see it. If they don't, they don't. You just got to keep doing your thing and then hopefully the right eyes are seeing you. But the answer to that is yes, I am. Watch one of my games. Four goals against Forest is equivalent to an assist against Burnley. You know what? I've heard that. I've heard things like that a lot. You know, you, it's all about the stats, man. You can search my name, look at the stats, you know. It's got goals behind it. Wherever I'm at, I like to score goals and I just want to do the best for the team. And so scoring goals in any league, any division, anywhere in the world is means the world to me. So four goals to me is Four goals to me, not one assist. I don't think you should ever try to take that away from me. Four goals, you know. Robbie Tingstrom said, New drug bar. I really wish I was drug bar. It was one of my idols growing up, so I'd be honored to be like him. I call him my uncle, so 
Let's be Lamanko.